come with me. I'm in the grocery store today and I'm getting all green things today that are good for my fertility and for my vaginal health. I'm be putting these foods into a smoothie, but also getting things that are good to eat alone or in a sandwich. So I'm definitely getting some spinach because it's high in folate. It's high in so many different micronutrients and I'm gonna use that for my fertility smoke. Next thing I'm gonna get are some pumpkin seeds. You all, pumpkin seeds are literally packed in protein and they also have a good amount of iron. And if you are low iron, that's not good, but we can also do so many things to help. So pumpkin seeds is definitely one of the foods I'm gonna focus Next up on. Next is avocados, you all. This is probably one of the best foods ever for your overall health, but especially your fertility. We need our fats to make hormones like estrogen and progesterone. So I'm getting some avocados and I'm gonna watch them ripen at home. Don't worry if you go to a grocery store and they're in their green, it's okay. Get some and you can watch them ripen at home. Just leave them out and not in the refrigerator. Um, this is also high in fiber. A big avocado has like half of the fiber you need for the whole day in just one avocado. So don't be scared of fat, you all. It's so important to really build those hormones and help us with our nutrition and our fertility. Thing, y'all, is some green bell peppers. This is one of the most underrated fruits. Yes, it's a fruit. I'm gonna tell you green why. Green bell peppers are packed with vitamin C. One, one bell pepper has like over 150% of the vitamin C that you need for the day. And so this is great for our vagina. We need vitamin C in order to make collagen. Our vaginal wall is made up of collagen. Look it up. Don't believe me. Yeah, so this is gonna help us maintain that vaginal wall and also it's gonna help with our overall defense system. We need vitamin C to have a strong immune system and we need that if we're going to be trying to get pregnant, if we're trying to improve our menstrual health and if we're trying to manage pain because collagen is also good to help with our tissue health. So like our uterus. So look into this and um, definitely consider adding bell peppers to your day. So bell peppers are packed with vitamin C, y'all. We need vitamin C for so much, especially for our vagina. Our vaginal wall is actually made up of collagen. A good part of the vaginal wall is collagen, which is a type of tissue that keeps it nice and strong and plump, right? And so when we eat vitamin C, it helps to make collagen. We cannot make collagen without enough vitamin C. So if you get your bell peppers, you can fry them, you can bake them, you can even eat them raw with like ranch or dip or something like that. You can put it in a salad. There's so much that we can do with green bell peppers. So this is gonna help with our fertility because we do need a strong immune system to really help with oxidative stress, which is kind of like inflammation or things that cause disease in the body. So we need a strong immune system. We need our vitamin C to boost our immune system, right? And also we need that vitamin C to help us make collagen for our vaginal health. So this is one of the reasons, or one of the many reasons why I'm gonna be getting some green you know. underrated fruit that I won't be underwriting, baby, okay? Green apples are the truth, and I'm gonna tell you why. Green apples have a lot of antioxidants in them, and what antioxidants do is they look in the body for disease-causing cells. And those cells are called free radicals. And when free radicals go around, they go around creating chaos in the body. So imagine these free radicals in your ovaries, in your uterus, creating all of this chaos, trying to cause disease like maybe cancer, trying to cause other things that we don't want. And when we eat foods that are high in antioxidants, they kill off those free radical cells and it stabilizes our body to help prevent infection, prevent disease, and to keep us happy and healthy. So that's why I'm gonna be getting some green apples and I'm gonna make a smoothie with these ingredients. So stay tuned. So I'm back at home now and I'm gonna continue talking to you about why you need to be eating green apples or apples period. Green apples have an antioxidant called quercetin in them. So I have a whole bag right here and I'm gonna be using them to eat as snacks and all of that. But specifically if you have pelvic pain conditions, like maybe you have endometriosis, Maybe you have ovarian cysts. Maybe you have something called interstitial cystitis. And so what quercetin does it, is it helps to modulate pain. There's been studies done on people who took quercetin 
every day and it helped to reduce their pelvic pain by up to like 60% for a majority of those people in the study. So we're not going to underrate these green apples. Just to review before I do anything, the five foods that I recommend that you start eating more of if you want to upgrade your fertility and also improve your vaginal health are these five green foods here. Bell peppers, remember we said these are really high in vitamin C. Pumpkin seeds, which are a great so source of plant-based protein, and they also have a lot of iron in them, and a lot of us are iron deficient. We want to get our iron from foods too, not just from tablets. And then here what we have is our avocados. This is probably one of my top foods for vaginal health and fertility because it has such a great source of good fat. And we need fats to make hormones like progesterone and estrogen. We cannot maintain a pregnancy without sufficient progesterone. And so, or naturally. And so here what we have are our green apples. We just talked about how they're high in antioxidants that can help fight disease and even pelvic pain. And then spinach. Spinach, spinach for sure because spinach is high in what's called folate. Folate is a B vitamin that's super important if you're pregnant. If you're pregnant, you should be taking a prenatal that has uh, folate in it. But also, even if we're not trying to get pregnant, we need folate for our vaginal health and our fertility and our menstrual health. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm about to make a green smoothie. So what we're going to do now with these green foods is make a green goddess fertility smoothie. Y'all, these green foods are going to be delicious and the smoothie is going to be no different. So the first thing that I'm going to get is my base, which is going to be soy milk. You do not have to be afraid of soy milk. So soy milk and soy products has actually been shown to lower one's risk of cancer. That is a myth that soy causes cancer. Um, you can look it up, look up those studies. Loma Linda did a study on women who um, drank soy milk and women who drank uh, cow's milk. And the women who drank cow's milk actually had a higher risk of developing things like breast cancer. But my choice of milk is going to be soy milk, okay? Because it's high in protein and it's plant-based. I don't always use plant-based products, but today's gonna be a plant-based protein smoothie. So I'm just making one serving, which is just for me. So I'm gonna put one cup of soy milk. And it was refrigerated, so that's gonna help with the temperature. And then I want to use a plant-based protein powder. You can use whatever plant-based protein powder you like. Where is my protein? Where is my scoop spoon? One second. Oh, it's probably in this one. So I have a, a whey protein and I have my scoop in there. So let me get that together. And I'm just going to put actually only one scoop of protein. The body can only process about 20 to 25 grams of protein in one sitting. So I'm only going to use one scoop. And this is again plant-based protein powder. Alright, this part is really important. This is what's going to give us our natural sweetener. I'm not putting any artificial sweeteners into this one. It's going to be naturally sweet because Mother Nature um, already has that taken care of. I'm going to put half a cup of ma frozen mangoes. And mangoes are so nutritious and so delicious. Very vagilicious. <laughs> hey! Okay, so half a um, cup of that. Now I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put in my green stuff. So I'm going to put a avocado into, a half an avocado into the to the smoothie and this is what it looks like. I don't have it super ripe, but this is ripe enough for me. It's green, you know, it's not too hard. It's still fairly soft. Um, if you can get it softer, that's better because that would help your smoothie to be nice and creamy. Um, but my milk is going to take care of the creaminess of my smoothie, so we're still good to go. Um, just make sure that your, that your avocado is actually like black and it's not green, or at least close to black. So mine still has some green in it, but it's close enough. I've cut my avocado and now I'm just going to kind of scoop it out with this, with this spoon here. And then I'm just going to put it into my smoothie. Okay. I'm just scooping it. Some of it's falling off the counter. Okay. So now I'm going to put some spinach 
get that folate. So what I've done here is just make sure I got a full cup. Actually, this is a, a cup and a half of raw spinach. And so I'm going to put that into my smoothie. And it looks like a lot of spinach, but y'all know how it is when you actually cut it up and, or if you cook it or, or whatnot. It's, it's really not that much, okay? And um, also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some frozen pineapples to help with the natural sugars and the natural taste. I want my brine to be like, ooh, have this again. So this is about a half cup of pineapples. They're frozen, so that's again going to help it to taste like a nice, cold, refreshing smoothie. It's sweet. Pineapples also have a lot of um, antioxidants, and this is not going to raise your blood sugar if you have polycystic ovarian syndrome or if you have prediabetes or diabetes because we have the protein in this smoothie. So that's going to help to stabilize your blood sugar. And also, fruits are packed with vitamins and nutrients, so you don't want to avoid fruits completely. Well, I don't. might need to add some more soy milk. Depending on how well this actually mixes together, I might need to add some more soy milk. Okay, so now it's blending time, baby. It's time to blend it all together and see how it turns out. Again, if it's too chunky, I can just add some more milk, but we'll see how it goes. good I'm gonna add a little bit of milk because I want it to be a little bit more creamy and I want it to just melt in my mouth and I'm gonna add a tad bit of honey to increase the level of deliciousness and vegetaliciousness uh -huh. I'm gonna actually add to this I haven't even tasted it yet but I do know that I want it to be a little bit creamier so it really just melts in my mouth and so I love the taste I'm gonna add a little bit more milk I'm gonna show you how much I'm adding I'm gonna also add like a tablespoon of sweet almond oil to um, for magnesium and for good fats and um, for good fats. Again, fats are good for your hormones. I'm gonna add a touch of honey. So let's do that now. I'm going to add this. You're gonna watch how much I'm adding. Not a lot, right? That's it. And then I'm going to add a top full of almond oil and actually this is probably about mm, half a tablespoon okay of almond oil sweet almond oil sweet almond oil and and then I'm going to add a little bit more unsweetened soy milk again you can use whatever milk you like almond milk does not really have a lot of protein so that's why I'm not using almond milk so that's how much I'm adding, okay? And you guys, again, remember, it's based on how creamy you want your smoothie to be. So that's, that's you have the freedom to add as much as you want. Okay, taste it, yes. And let's give it a taste. Mmm! It's so good, and it is creamy like I want. Oh, I am so happy with how this green smoothie turned out. My Green Goddess Fertility Smoothie. I'm posting all of the ingredients in the caption. And also on my Instagram page, you'll see more details about this smoothie. These ingredients can help you to boost your fertility by increasing the amount of available nutrients to your body. It takes so much energy and nutrients to make a baby and to even just regulate your, your menstrual cycle. I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, so it's important that I have enough nutrients, but also that I'm avoiding some of those inflammatory foods and foods that will not support blood sugar management. So this is a great smoothie for that, and it tastes so good. It's creamy, it's not too sweet, but it's sweet enough, and it's just, mm, it makes my heart smile. So if you like this video and you like the information that I share, do something for me. Like this video and also subscribe to my channel so that you never miss any of my videos. I'm going to be also posting a video on pelvic floor exercises for sexual pain, especially in doggy style, to help you experience more pleasure. Like, no one wants to be in pain. So check that out. Subscribe and like it. I'm so excited to be on YouTube, you guys. So thanks for supporting. Bye.